While Richie James Jr. seems to be on the way out, Jalen Hurd seems to be sticking around. He may have made the team at the buzzer. Jalen Hurd has been hurt for two years. The Niners drafted him in the third round of the 2019 draft, missed that rookie season with back back injuries, and then last year missed his second year with a torn ACL. This year, he missed most of training camp, was really coming back very slowly, even slower than, geez, Nick Bosa, who tore his ACL during the season. He was back around practice all offseason. Jalen Hurd really taking his time. At one point, Kyle Shanahan said, yeah, it's really not a given that he's going to make this team. And Hurd came back for one practice, had a couple catches, and sat himself down for the next week and starting to look like he was never going to stay healthy. But John Lynch went on the radio and said, there's a reason they took him in the third round and he doesn't have to show much for them to keep him. He just has to be healthy. And then Kyle Shanahan came out today and said the same thing. When healthy, Jalen Hurd is definitely one of their six best wide receivers. And so far he's been healthy since Wednesday. Played on Wednesday, practiced on Thursday, seems healthy today. We'll see if he plays against the Raiders. I think to make this team, he needs to play against the Raiders and then be healthy next week, which would be a big step because he hasn't been healthy for like four days in a row in years. But it, what does that really prove, though? If he can be healthy for four days in a row, does that mean that he can be healthy for four months in a row? Does that mean that he won't have a setback two weeks from now? That's the Niners gamble here. They want to keep Jalen Hurd, and they feel like if he can just show him anything, five days of healthy football, they'll keep him. But what's the expense of that? Who are they going to cut? Which quality backup who could play 17 games off the bench are they going to cut so they can keep Jalen Hurd and maybe get four games of talented play from the Swiss Army Knife? I don't know. Seems like a tough a tough gamble. I mean, he's going to really have to show something in this Raiders game for the Niners to feel like it's worth it. Because if he gets hurt it, three weeks from now, it's going to feel like fool me once, shame on you, fool me 11 times, shame on me. So I understand why the Niners are being optimistic and hopeful, but it, I hope it's not naivete. That's a big word. Good luck, Jalen. Good luck, 49ers.